Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks and this week something a little bit different. I'm just about to get on the road now, in case you hadn't guessed, and take a trip over to Sweet Amps in Hackney in East London. It's a fair old trek, so I'm going to get on the road sooner rather than later, but I thought it'd be cool to take you on a little bit of a journey with me. The amp that I'm going to see is a 1960 Fender concert. Now, the concert, if you're unfamiliar or uninitiated, not unfair to think of the concerts really as the precursor to the Super Reverb, at least in terms of its size and its configuration. Of course, having four 10 inch speakers, there is a lot in common with the Super Reverb that would follow some kind of four or five years after the concert's introduction in 1959. Concert, of course, spanning Fender's Brownface and Blackface era before ultimately being discontinued in 1965 following the introduction of the Super Reverb in 1963. Now, there are principally two reasons I want to take a look at this amp. First among which is the fact that it has harmonic tremolo or harmonic vibrato. If you've never heard that as an effect before, it really is something to behold, especially when it comes in built with these amplifiers. It's somewhat unique actually to these series of brown face amplifiers, specifically the amps that Fender considered the professional models, i.e. the bigger amps of the time. The second reason I want to take a look at this amplifier is somewhat more vain. It does bear a striking resemblance to my Super Reverb. My Super Reverb having been modified, should we say, bastardized, some might say, at some point during the course of its life, to look like a somewhat fictional Super Reverb, the brown face Super Reverb. So the idea of those two amps alongside each other is something of a vibe, as some might say, or as my wife might say, matchy-matchy. So as I said, I thought it'd be cool to take you on a journey and see if I come home considerably lighter or considerably heavier, actually, than I left the house. So let's get on the road. Also, this video is sponsored by Greg's. I mean, it's not, but how amazing would that be? Let's get on the road. Thank you. 
So weirdly on this, I think the my brass channel actually sounds better than the normal channel. Okay. Yeah. It's louder there, yeah. but it's just a bit more kind of direct, I think. Um, so you film it? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So as luck would have it, I actually have two concerts in the shop today. Of course, the 61, which is what I've come up to see, but we also have a 1960. Um, a little bit more expensive by virtue of uh, more original components. This having had a transformer rewind and uh, some eminence replacement speakers in there as well. Interesting going back and forth between the two of them. I think there's more mid range in this. Again, that's probably by virtue of the speakers. But crucially for me, at least, um, aside from the matchy matchy thing, I think the harmonic trim in this sounds nicer than it does in that. Um, let you guys be the judge of that. So here it is clean. By comparison, sounds better keep your opinions to yourself because I've decided on this one and we got the harmonic trem let's kick that in a second intensity on tap with that one that the intensity is maxed out now to get anywhere near what that is at on about seven or eight uh, but it just seems more 3d to me i think it's more it seems a little bit more characterful yeah for that one am i right in saying that mark's not in which is a good thing um so yeah i think i'm still gravitating towards that one all joking aside, obviously that is the one that kind of matches the Super Reverb. That, I guess, you know, again by virtue of it being 1960, it'd be the second year that they were making concerts. It's probably slightly rarer. Um, obviously has uh, a different colour grill cloth as well, but uh, both very, very cool amps, spot for choice here. In honestly, an absolute Aladdin's cave of an amp shop. It's, uh, it's incredible. So there you have it. Back in the car now, time to get back on the road and get home. Wallet being a few pounds lighter, the boot of my car being a few pounds heavier as well, courtesy of that concert. I just want to say a massive thank you to Jim for being so incredibly accommodating at Sweet Amps and letting me turn up, make a bit of noise, annoy the neighbours, I imagine, as well as just spend an ordinary amount of time deliberating between those two concerts. Honestly, if you're in London, or even if you're not in London like myself, it is definitely worth the drive. It's just a total treasure trove of a shop with so many hidden gems just waiting to be unearthed. Really could have spent a lot of money in there if I had deeper pockets. As for me and the concert now, very excited to get it back, put it through its paces in the upcoming week for some tour rehearsals. It's a little bit late to be involved in the album recording, unfortunately, but we are off around Europe, Germany, Austria and Switzerland, February and March, back to the UK then in April and May. So it's a pretty hectic time. Really excited to see how it stacks up, not only individually, but alongside that match in Super Reverb. Really excited to see how that rig sounds. As ever, thank you very much for watching. Apologies for the slightly more ad hoc episode of Friday Fright Works this week. Normal service will be resumed next week. As ever, please subscribe at the bell icon if you haven't already. And I shall see you next week for another episode. Cheers, guys. See you soon.